Yeah, Med Yanis, let's talk about the future. A lot of those 15 million jobs are not going to come back. And if these people are to find work, it will either be in creating their own small businesses or working for either small businesses that were creative or have incentive to hire them. Uh, how strong is the move, and do you think it is a, a, a move that would work in terms of creating some kind of a TARP program for small businesses? Absolutely. However, it's, it's not um, a simple yes or no answer. See, the problem is multidimensional, and the solution should be multidimensional. The TARP program for small business does help. The idea or the logic behind it is to increase credit and help small business create employment. Low-cost money, we know that it can help uh, business remain afloat for a while, but what we should look for is sustainable job creation, and that comes from growth. The market has to grow. So it, it's just simply giving money to small businesses without investing in growth industries uh, and without proper supervision, it's going to happen exactly the same thing that happened with the uh, big banks. You can't just give them money. The money has to be tied to employment creation, export industries, um, heavily concentrated in areas of alternative energy, electric car manufacturing, um, and so on. So you believe then that the green industries will be the growth industries of the immediate future? It's not only green. It's innovation. It could be a stem cell research, um, gene nanotechnology, growth industries where you can create demand. Now, the other problem with the TARP is, is how much of that is, is going to stimulate the economy. If I understand correctly, the money, they're talking about $250 billion for small businesses. Now, if the small businesses generate about 70% of the new jobs, and they're getting about 30% of the TARP money compared to the big businesses, then I think it's going to be like a drop in a pocket. It's not going to help. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So uh, you said, though, that you feel like the that neither party has uh, any 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 real plan for solution. Um, among the polls for independent thinkers, the independents that everybody is going after now, uh, a lot of people are actually putting the blame, uh, unjustifiably so, but putting a lot of the blame on the Obama administration because it is a, it is feeling that. They're more, they're more concerned about inaction. They're more concerned about the government sort of grinding to a halt. Does this lack, how does this lack of confidence generate itself in terms of real numbers in the economy? Obama's policies are not much different um, than Bush's policies. In what okay. way? Specific. Okay. Specific. The bailout started during Bush uh, administration listen to both parties, they're more or less talking the same thing. So um, conservatives are talking about small businesses, and now Obama is talking about small businesses. If, if you looked at the campaign of McCain versus, and um, um, Obama, they're more or less the same. Here's the problem. It's self-denial and the finding of solutions to, to fulfill ideological principles rather than being practical. In 2007 and 2008, um, the solution could have been very simple, effective, and quick. Rather than bailing out well, the failed businesses, yeah. Go ahead. What would that have been? Continue. Rather than bailing out the failed businesses and the banks or buying the bad assets, instead the government could have created something called the good bank. So, you know, remember we talked, they talked about the bad bank and, and, and bailing all the assets? That's so correct, they correct. Could, they, could, they could have created uh, with the same money. With the same top money, they could have created a, a government-owned bank and used the bailout money to offer direct, low-cost loans to homeowners and small businesses, and large businesses for that matter. This would have stabilized the housing market and the prices, and that could have solved the problem. What's going to happen, Gary, is that financial industry is going to be hurt, but guess what? They made the investment and they lost. What you're going to do is you're going to remove the middleman, and the financial industry is not a real production industry. Uh, the banks who took risk fail, um, let them go away, and the healthy banks can take over the services. It's as simple as that. Now, the other problem we're facing, to be practical, just cutting costs or taking care of uh, social problems, whether it's health care or anything for that matter, is not the solution. 
what took us out of World War II was the auto industry. And the recession after World War II was the auto industry. What took us out of the recession in the 1970s from the financial collapse was the IT industry. And the only uh, way we can get out of this crisis is a new industry and for the government to invest in innovation development and surprise creation. And that new industry could be alternative energy, stem cell research, but the policies of tax cuts or tax raises or uh, regulation or lack of it, they help or hinder, but the solution out of this crisis is in the emergence of a, a new industry, period.